for cheap and reliable ultimate team coins, go to fifacoin.com. What's up guys, I'm Thomas FC Evan and welcome to a brand new Liverpool Carrier Mode episode. You guys have smashed the likes on the previous episode, so I'm bringing you another episode. If you want to see the next one very soon, make sure to leave a like on this video and also uh, let me know in the comments below how did you find my channel, what do you enjoy the most about my videos and also I wanted to tell you that uh, I will uh, upload the uh, FIFA 15 uh, girlfriend carrier mode very soon so if you want to see that also smash the likes on this video and also uh, I will do some uh, forfeit FIFA episodes very soon I'm planning to do that potentially on the weekend Lalan and Coutinho play in midfield and also the, the defense and the, the attack is very very strong this is Anfield and it's a very very important game and some of you guys might know that Swansea City are my second favorite team in the Premier League they are a club from Wales and I've been following them since 2004 and they have been uh, just the rise since then has been remarkable and they are in the top four in the Premier League this season Go on, Coutinho. Oh. Oh, and Markovic is on side. Markovic. Markovic. Yes. The face. The sheer face of Lata Markovic. He just burns the defender. He leaves him for dead. He roasts him. Many of you guys said that I play better with Markovic. For some reason, Markovic is playing better in this career with the Ryan Sterling. So I should start Markovic more than Sterling and you guys are probably right. Somebody show me, show me something. Markovic again and Stevie, Stevie G, <laughs> he almost scored. Oh lovely, lovely, Gerard, Gerard, oh great attack, lovely team play again. Please, please, clear that. Oh no! They hit the bar! And Mignolet saves the rebound! Oh yes! Oh Moreno, turn on the Jets! You have the pace! And I see you, I see Starridge! I see Starridge! 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 Ay, come on! Picture could go by Starridge! Yes! Look at that skill! Look at the pace! And he buries it between the defender's legs. Look at this. This would be a great angle. Brilliant. Marco Royce. Oh, Royce. Come on. And it's free. Marco Royce picks out Sturridge. Royce lost the ball, but he stole it back from the defender. Look at that. Great awareness by Royce. And the triple tap worked like a charm. And Sturridge. Picks out the far corner, it's 3 nail. Let's freshen up the team guys, so Henderson, Origi and Sterling comes on and we rest the Royce, Sturridge and Gerard. Oh, Markovic. Markovic! All the way! And Sterling! Sterling! It's 4! That ball roll by Markovic! To get past the defender was fantastic! And Sterling, first time ball is at home, he just came out as a substitute! And he scores with his first touch, I think, or second touch. Great finish, Sterling, he needed that goal. Look at Markovic, just look at him! He is just an absolute beast! World class performance, guys! We were head and shoulders above Swansea today. We played the perfect game basically, except we didn't take all of our chances. We could have scored 7 or 8 goals. So this is how the league table looks like and it looks like it will be our fiercest rivals Manchester United who will be our main title challengers this season. And we scored 25 goals in 20, 10 games this season, so I really hope that you guys are enjoying the gameplay and the goals and everything. Chelsea are struggling, they lost again at home to Cardiff City of all teams. So now Chelsea are only in 11th place, Arsenal are still hovering just above the relegation zone, so the season 
will be very very interesting and exciting so uh, I will show you the squad report uh, very soon uh, just I wanted to take a look at the top scorers in the Premier League so Gerard has five goals and Markovic has five goals as well and Sturridge has four with Royce has four four as well so we are sharing the goals around which is very very good and Royce has four assists and I, I believe I haven't showed you the squad report in a few episodes so I wanted to take a look at uh, how the young players are developing Mignolet is very good this season again 5 clean sheets in 13 games and look at Flanagan I've been really really surprised by him and his rise that's why I'm playing him a lot because I want to develop him he's a scouser you know Liverpool born and bred and uh, he will be a future very very promising right back uh, only 22 years old Skortel rock solid in defense um, so as long as his, uh, his rating is above 80 I don't think I will sell him Mama Dusako also uh, rock solid but Ankuru has been uh, a little bit better than him Moreno he's not growing I don't know why but Lalana went up um, by one his rating went up three goals in 11 games very good Gerard oh boy I wish he would not retire seven goals in 14 games from midfield and he had an excellent hat-trick not so long ago Coutinho also growing very nicely he has only one goal in nine games uh, and zero assists which is a little bit concerning but he, you know he has time on our, his hands and Markovic what else can I say about this guy his goals to game ratio is outstanding six goals in eight games that's beastly so take about Markovic and he's only 21 he's one of the best young players in the in the whole game Marco Royce very impressed with him seven goals in 13 games and he scored some my, mightily important goals he scored two against Real Madrid in the Champions League away from home and he also scored a 90th minute equalizer against Arsenal Sturridge same as last season very impressed with him seven goals in 13 games him and Royce will tear the league apart Ryan Sterling he's lacking goals uh, this season I'm not sure why uh, let me know if uh, you have any tips for me how to use Sterling it's strange because Markovic has eight go six goals in eight games Sterling only has two in ten and Kulu already went up by two he is now the same rating as Skirtal and he has been at our club for what, like 3 months? Amazing, Henderson also very very nicely growing and I want to keep him, he's our vice captain you know so once Gerard retires he will take over as captain Skuffe also went up by 1 which is very nice to see Origi, the thing that lets him down is his finishing, 72 finishing he has been getting into great positions and once he starts his rating starts go growing, he will be a broadcast striker. Zivkovic on the other hand, I mean Origi played 13 games, only one goal, Zivkovic already scored two, so maybe I should play Zivkovic more. And oh my goodness, Fabian Schaar, what a signing. You guys, I want to thank you guys because it was you who re recommended Schaar to me and I should play him more. And I think I will. I might sell Lovren in a in January because he has high attacking work rate and Lovren really hasn't depressed me but Dominguez I, it's uh, really difficult to get him in the team but I, I try my best to uh, to play him and he will be one for the future very promising youth academy player Bran again he's not growing so he's no, not going anywhere it's just such a shame because he's a uh, he looks like a really promising player but Tillemans again He's just growing like crazy, uh, hasn't scored this season, but I'm sure he will once his rating gets better. Monkey also going up very nicely, Teixeira he needs a loan, uh, and Emra Chan who just came back from his loan from Leicester City, and as you can see he's, he's now 78 rated, so I believe his rating went up and he has 3 goals in 9 games, he played for Leicester, he was on a short loan. And uh, now I think Emre Can will get a lot of playing time because he, we, we need him in midfield. Chaloba also very promising young player and Ward Prowse, they will be ones for the future. Thiago Ilori, another player who is very very promising. 
So I might just keep him and move Lovren on in the January transfer window. We have so many great defenders in their club. Andre Wisdom, he needs a loan. And uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, Dejan Lovren is not growing and he hasn't been that good this season. His high attacking work rate really lets him down and he has lax pace and his marking stats are not the best, only 80. But he's 26, so he's, he won't get any better than that, uh, sadly. And already our young defenders are outgrowing Lovren. Demarcus, very promising player. Asaidi, I'm just letting him rot in the reserves because, you know, um, I want to move him on the same as Borini and Joe Allen. So these three players will be sold uh, because they don't really feature in Liverpool's plan plans. Maybe Borini does, but I'm not sure if his long-term future lies at Liverpool or not. Jordan I went up by two, that's great. He is one for the future. And I want to develop him. Suso, he's unknown at Ajax and he has been growing like crazy. And he's playing Champions League football at Ajax, which is very good. Luis Alberto, again, one for the future. So this is our squad. I think it's a beast squad already. And I'm really looking forward to developing the young players even more. So we have some big games coming up. CSK Moscow and also Newcastle and the Real Madrid and Chelsea games coming up in the Champions League. So if you want to see the next episode very soon, Smash the likes guys and leave a comment, thanks for watching, see you later, goodbye!